Welcome to 3D Amazon FBA. Today I want to talk about how uh, we are officially in a recession and uh, why I'm not really worried about it for my Amazon business. So before I get into it, make sure you guys like subscribe to this channel. I really appreciate it. All right, so let me first show you guys why I say we are in a recession. You know, because we're being told by the media and whatnot, we're, we're not really in a recession, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, here's the definition of recession. It says generally identified by a fall in GDP in two consecutive quarters. So here, if you look to our, our GDP, we had a 1.6, uh, you know, negative growth in uh, Q1. And now we have a 0.9%, our negative 0.9% of growth in our GDP. We definitely are, you know, in an official recession, a textbook uh, recession, as you can see from before. Now, I'm personally not too concerned about it because you just see here that it's not as bad as it was. It is getting a little bit better. Uh, do I think this is going to be short-lived? I wouldn't be surprised if it goes six months to a year. You know, really our issue is that we just aren't producing uh, – gasoline if we were to start drilling oil and start exporting oil like we were a few years ago we would get out of this with no problem you know we're extremely reliant on russian oil which you know we all know there's war in russia you know russia ukraine um, conflict you know so that doesn't really help us much and uh, you know we have begged saudi arabia to to produce more oil and they just kind of laugh at us unfortunately so uh, you know for as long as these oil issues are are coming are happening we uh, we're, we're going to probably stay in uh, you know at least very minimal growth in uh, our nation's GDP and I'm not really concerned about it because Amazon is still making a lot of sales you know I sell on Amazon that is my job you know, and most people that watch this channel are also selling on Amazon. So Amazon, I do believe, is showing sales growth. Let's look this up. Sales growth 2022. I don't really follow Amazon's, um, you know, their, their company-wide sales and stuff like that. But, um, you know, Amazon Prime Day sales estimated double-digit uh, growth you know so you know they're just doing really well people are still shopping online people are still shopping on Amazon um, you know as far as my regular items that I always sell in my store I'm not seeing a big drop-off uh, you know for the month of July I'm seeing a, a big drop-off but that's because I took a two-week vacation I didn't source for two weeks you know, so naturally, whenever you sell through all of your product, your sales are going to suffer. But, uh, you know, I've spent a lot of time this past month, I think about a month since I came back from my vacation. And, uh, you know, I've been sending out three, four shipments a week. I've been sending in a ton of product. And now that my inventory levels have gotten closer to their norm, you know, my sales are, are going back up. So uh, let me pull it up on the app real quick. So... Yesterday, I did over $1,500. I did about $1,100 on, was it two days ago? Yeah, two days ago. So I've, you can see maybe on this graph that, you know, my sales were really bad. This was Prime Day, but my sales were really bad because I had no inventory. And now that my inventory level is getting up, my, my sales are up. It is currently $625, and I've already sold $200. You know, so I'm not very concerned about Amazon uh, sales dropping off compared to some other places. Plus, there are items that Amazon is on the listing that is cheaper than Walmart. Walmart and Target, they uh, have had some extreme price hikes. And, uh, you know, they are actually doing really poorly as a retailer. You know, people still need food, you know, uh, you know bread, clothes shoes, whatever, and um, I, I believe just from what I've seen in the stock market and whatnot, people are going more to Amazon because if you, why why are you going to pay, like, Walmart, they have like $5 just jars of jelly. Are, are you going to pay that much money to go drive to Walmart, stand in line, and spend your, your gas, which, you know, down the street, I have a gas station that's at $6.09 still. 
even though gas has been dropping the past few weeks. Am I going to go through all of that, or am I just going to pay, like, say, $8 and buy it from Amazon directly? You know, people are going to flock to these cheap uh, – I don't want to really say cheaper because $5 compared to $8, it's not cheaper. But once you factor in your time and your gas, especially your gas, it is cheaper, especially for like any rural people, you know, that uh, really just don't want to drive 30 minutes to go to the store. You know, plus you factor in with uh, the prices getting so expensive across the board on everything. Um, I'm willing to bet because I know our jobs report is looking pretty good as a country that people are starting to want to, um, they're probably working multiple jobs just so they can feed their children, and keep a roof over their heads. And people I, I don't think are really going to have time to, to go to the Walmart when you can just buy it on Amazon and be done in 15 minutes from the you know seat of your couch. So uh, I, I do expect Amazon to still thrive while Target and Walmart have, um, they've missed their sales projections and they've actually decreased their sales projections for the rest of the year. While Amazon is, uh, you know, just running smooth. I haven't really seen any bad news for Walmart or from Amazon missing sales. You know, and you can see here, uh, you know, I think this was Prime Day. You know, household essentials, health, health and beauty. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe consumer staples. I'm not sure. Grocery, 17%. You can see that these are all, you know, things that I sell on Amazon and things that I typically show you guys. You know, health and beauty and grocery are probably the two biggest areas for me. I do sell some T-shirts and shorts and stuff like that. But it's, it's mainly grocery above all else for me. And you can see that they're growing. And I do expect there to be more growth in the, the grocery sector, you know. So, um, you know, I, I do just, uh, expect Amazon to keep on trucking, even though they're in a, we're in a recession because people just aren't going to have the time. And, uh, you know, once you factor in gas to drive to the store, it's easier just to buy it online. And I, I do think that's going to be a trend, you know, yeah, I don't think it would be this way if Walmart and Target didn't jack up the prices so much. You know, I go to Walmart, uh, well, I used to go to Walmart like two, three times a week. Now I'm going once every week or two weeks because they've, they've raised their prices on groceries about 30%, 40%. And, you know, being in California, I assumed a lot of that, you know, price increases was because of California because we're highly regulated, gas is more expensive because they double dip the gases. They, uh, you know, like whenever you're buying stuff wholesale, like if I was to buy some toys wholesale, uh, you know, I don't pay tax and the person that buys it for me pays tax. Well, with gasoline in California, the gas station that buys the gas pays a dollar something in, ga in gas tax. And then the consumer buys, spends another dollar something in gas tax. So we're essentially paying over $2 a gallon in gas tax. I can't remember the uh, the exact numbers, but we pay over $2 in gas tax. You know, minimum wage here is like $15 an hour, which is, uh, I think, the highest in the nation. I think we're tied with like Seattle and a couple other places. So anyways, when I was on my vacation, we went to a Walmart in um, Lawton, Oklahoma, where I was stationed in the military. I took the kids to uh, to where I was stationed. Um, in the military 24 years ago, long time. Uh, I got out like 21 years ago. But anyways, and their prices were the same in Oklahoma as they are here in California. And their minimum wage, I believe, is at $7.75. Somewhere in there, they are at the, um, the lower end of the minimum wage pay scale. So people in Oklahoma are uh, paying the same for groceries and goods from Walmart as they do here. And, you know, they're really just gouging, you know, people in the Midwest where minimum wage is much lower compared to us in California. And, uh, you know, I think that's a really big factor because people in Oklahoma, they want to feed their children. They, they don't really have much of a choice but to work two jobs, unfortunately, because they're paying the same for, for goods as we do here. And that doesn't, you know, they, they, they have to figure out how to feed their families and stuff. I mean, 
rents lower and stuff like that over there. But if their food bill is the same as it is here in California, um, you know, they're, I'm assuming your average person is probably really struggling. And I think people that are having to work two jobs are going to have to flock to Amazon. You know, they get it faster. They don't have, if they got Prime anyways, they don't have minimum shopping. You know, like if I wanted to buy something from Walmart, you had to spend at least $35 to get, you know, free shipping. If you're a Prime member, you don't have to do that. You know, and it's all, you know, um, cost savings because you just need like peanut butter, jelly, and some bread or something. You know, you can get it from Amazon, free shipping for, say, $15.00 compared to being forced to spend 35 at Walmart. You know, so I think Amazon is is uh, in uh, a position to do really well. And if Amazon's doing well, third-party sellers are doing really well. So, uh, you know, that's kind of what I'm thinking on the subject. Um, I just wanted to make this video because, you know, there's a lot of uh, misinformation going on about whether or not we're in a recession. And I don't want other people to panic. You know, I, I do think Amazon sellers are going to do extremely well. Uh, you know, I don't think we'll see a drop off in, in our sales or anything like that. Maybe a little bit, but I don't really think it's that bad, especially if you're selling, you know, health and beauty, uh, apparel and, and, and grocery. You know, uh, I do think for around Christmas time, if things don't really turn around or improve very much, um, toys are going to probably be... Uh, you know, not as profitable as they were before. People aren't going to be buying as much. I think Christmas is going to be light. But as far as things that people have to have, I think if you uh, sell it on Amazon, you'll be perfectly fine with operating your business and remaining uh, profitable and selling through your, your inventory. So that's what I've got for you guys today. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.